All right. What am I? What am I thinking of? Mm, I'm getting nothing. You're absolutely right. My mind is completely blank. Oh, uh, wow. I mean, how do you do it? You're a mind reader. <laughs> now, um, uh, obviously, I just was going to agree with what whatever you said to make it look as if it was mind reading. There are also times in facilitation when it looks like we're mind reading. Do you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell, tell us about it. I, I've got a couple of clues, clues on to that. One is kind of the practical one where we have really done good preparation. So you have a thought ahead and think that, well, in this session, this and this and this might happen. So I will do this and this and this as a method. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, people, it's just like, oh, that was just exactly what I thought we should do now. And, and that feels like mind reading, but really you're just very well prepared. And, and it may be that you had three different activities ready, depending on the three different ways that it could go down. For sure. And you know that those activities can be spun different ways, depending on the, yeah, 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 totally. Um, for me, there's another thing that I do quite often, and it's that kind of intuition thing. It's that listening to how I'm feeling and what my instincts are telling me, and then choosing to play that back with the group. You know, I'm feeling a little bit stuck here. Is anyone else feeling like that? You know, I'm doing that carefully, but quite often the way I'm feeling or what my intuition is telling me is not unique. And someone else in the group is also feeling that way too or maybe i'm just hungry but then maybe other people are hungry as well you know <laughs> and then you're mind reading but i think it's a good thing when you do that you bring uh, relations closer you get the group together and you, you and you create that um relation that you need to be able to facilitate uh, well um and and uh, maybe if you do that a lot and you miss a lot <laughs> then you create yeah. distance I mean, there's the risk that you project onto the group what you think they're thinking, or you lead the group down a certain way by naming your own prejudices. So you've got to be aware of that. Yeah. I think for me, the practical thing is to, to be aware of this, to plan well, and listen to your instincts and use those together, always thinking about what's in the interest of the group. I knew you were going to say that. 